Good morning, everyone. So I'm happy to be there uh, with Manon, my uh, co colleague from EBTrans. She's business analyst, and I'm the CIO of the group. So we'll invite you today to uh, discover uh, our business and uh, do a deep dive in it. Uh, so we'll introduce who we are, what we do, and also uh, one of our main uh, challenge, which is the fuel management. So it's why you are here today. So first of all, uh, who we are. So we are uh, an IT company in a transport group, uh, which is specialized in uh, dangerous goods and uh, specialized uh, uh, transport activities. Uh, so we are uh, in the market for more than uh, 20 years now. So uh, we have um, many kinds of transport. So in the, in the beginning, we were very focused on the fuel uh, distributions and fuel transport, but uh, we diversified ourselves in many uh, other activities, like uh, food industry, uh, waste industry, um, and also uh, chemistry and, uh, and gas. We are, let's say, spread in over Europe, which is a challenge for the IT, because we are in uh, 14 countries, different countries. Uh, and if we just take some numbers, we, have, we are almost uh, 4,000 uh, employees with uh, 2,500 trucks, and we do around uh, 400 uh, million of uh, euro of turnover. Uh, so let's focus now on the Odoo project at EB Trans. So the beginning of the project was to replace SAP uh, that we have today only for accounting and booking uh, to Odoo, but it's not. Uh, our main goal is not only to replace uh, a tool or a software by uh, another piece of software. Um, we have uh, another goal, which is to be able to have a profit and loss per truck. And it seems very simple, but uh, it's very complicated because there are many costs involved uh, in the truck. So uh, our ambition is to be able to migrate all our accounting uh, companies uh, over the next two years. Uh, we have all, almost 100 uh, companies, and uh, we take also this opportunity to deploy other side uh, modules from Odoo, like the expand management, uh, the purchasing uh, module, uh, the time off for our employees and uh, our driver. And uh, we also develop uh, a module with uh, Axon, our partner, uh, a module to be able to break down uh, non-allocated uh, reven uh, revenue or non-allocated not cost. To, uh, to truck based on operational KPIs such as kilometers or hours of driving. Uh, so this is our main goal. So, um, so Manon, I just explained that we want to be able to have a profit and loss per truck, but how we will uh, be able to handle this uh, with real figures? Okay, so... Let's answer the question, are my truck profitable? So that question might be obvious, but uh, every transport company likes to know if their main resources are profitable okay. or not. So the profitability can be simplified by the ratio between how much it pays and how much it costs. So today we will focus on how much do my truck cost me. So the cost of transport can be broken down into three main categories. We first have the driver, which counts for half of the price. Then we have repairs, maintenance, cleaning, the cost of detention of the truck for around 10%. And I think you might have understand what's the second biggest cost center of my truck. It's of course the fuel consumption. This shows how important is fuel consumption in transport industry and why it has to be properly managed. So let's take a look at the challenge of a good fuel management system, which is not as easy as it sounds. So the first challenge is retrieving data. So what do we mean by data? We mean every information linked to the refueling of the truck, like date and time, the location, the kilometers, the quantity of uh, refueling, which cars were used, which driver, which truck, and so on. We have two main sources of data. We have the external provider, where the truck can uh, refuel on his way, and we have our internal fuel tanks on site. So then you say, OK, what's the challenge with that? The challenge is that we want data from everywhere, but centralized into one system. 
So first, we need to establish a connection between each uh, provider and our system. Then once the connection is established, these providers send us files from their own system. So we receive plenty of file format. They can differ uh, by the extension, they can differ by the, the structure inside, the info contained in the file, and so on and so on. So to uh, solve that, we develop, or Axon has developed, an import tool that is uh, more advanced than the one or already offered by Odoo. So this import tool allows us to add some conditions uh, so that the file are reworked uh, automatically and everything will be integrated into Odoo without any manual uh, manipulation by the user. So now there is plenty of data. Oh, I'm sure that all the data are correct and uh, how can I correct it? Yes, we'll just go. So we have our fleet module, which are the main module of the project, where we have our external fuel logs and our internal fuel logs. So <laughs> <laughs> now I will answer your question, Thibault. So imagine you're the, the man or the lady responsible for uh, fuel consumption in the company. Depending on the number of trucks you own, uh, you can have up to 1,000 fuel logs per month to check. So you need to check them uh, to verify if it's the right trucks, if the quantity or kilometers are coherent. Uh, if there is no missing fuel logs and so on and so on. This is really, really long and time consuming. So employees are not motivated about checking all the data and this result is more or less uh, analy uh, analysis and uh, non-accurate data. So that's what we thought about easing as much as possible this process. So for that we're using the dashboard module in Odoo where we have uh, pre-established some uh, dashboard to uh, focus the employees' work uh, on the fuel logs to be checked so that they are not overwhelmed with ton on information. So here, here is a few examples. So we point out uh, fuel logs. We, we don't know which truck uh, took the fuel, uh, no kilometers, and so on. And uh, we also made a connection with the the black box, maybe Thibaut can... Uh, yes, so in each truck we uh, install black box to retrieve any kind of data from the truck because today uh, with modern truck there is a data bus in the, in the truck so we can retrieve fuel consumptions, kilometers, the speed, uh, even uh, the percentage uh, on the gas pedal. So with that we are able to, uh, to match the data that are manually uh, put in the system by the driver and the real data collect from the truck with this uh, black box and all the system uh, around. So let's complete the process. Then we have a link uh, from the fuel, the fleet module, sorry, with the dashboard module for the correction. And we add the FMS data, uh, which is what Thibaut just talked about. So let's go to our search challenge. Uh, so one of the big problems in, in our companies is also to manage the cart of the driver because a cart to be able to, to refuel um, a, a truck, it's like a credit card. So you, you can spend uh, almost 1,000 uh, euros per day. So if you lose it or if you not manage it correctly, uh, it's like if you put uh, a credit card in the nature. So it's why it's important for us also to be able to, to track uh, where they are. Yes, so in the fleet module, we've added a menu with uh, all fuel cards information, but that's not sufficient because uh, as Thibault mentioned, that's credit card. So it's very sensitive data. So we have to, to track uh, who is responsible for the card and, and the usage of the card to see if there is no uh, theft, so I don't know. So for that, uh, we want to avoid that companies have a bunch of cards spread everywhere without any tracking. So we made a link uh, with the fleet uh, part with the license plate of the truck and uh, the employees so that each card is assigned to uh, uh, these uh, resources. This also helps tracking, for example, when a driver leaves the company, then directly from his uh, employee's description, we know uh, which card he has, so we can uh, collect them. And the same when the truck is sold, then uh, we quickly see uh, how many cards we need to collect to avoid losing them. So then we make, a, again, a link with this core fleet module with the employees to, uh, must for master data management. So Manon just explained how we manage the, the card, uh, the refueling at the gas stations. 
but also uh, to um, have a better uh, cost structure, we also have internal tank on, on our parking spot to uh, refuel the tank with our own uh, gas station. So how can I manage it, Manon? And all to get the cost um, from Odoo for that. Mm -hmm. So the main question uh, we wanted to answer is how much does it cost me when my, my truck refuel on, on site? Because for external provider, it's easy. We receive invoices, so we know the cost. But what about internal tanks? For that, we just uh, simply use the standard process of inventory and purchase module in Odoo. So we have configured all, all our tanks in the inventory module with minimum and maximum quantity. Then when the stock level is low, it generates a request for quotation and purchase order. So I guess you might know the, the standard process uh, of purchasing. Once the goods arrive, then uh, the replenishment are valued at purchase cost. So at any time, we know the cost of the fuel contained in our tanks. And then uh, from the terminal, uh, from our tanks, we receive the stock removal, which then can be valued uh, based on a FIFO basis. So with that process, we know exactly how much it costs us when it comes from our internal tanks. So we complete the process together with the inventory uh, module for stock removal and then the purchase module for uh, replenishment and purchasing. So now we arrive at the results. So the big scope of the project is to have a profit and loss per truck, so the, which is the goal of everything. So we have our direct income, which comes from the customer bill from the transport management system which is another process already in place. And then for the direct expenses, we have the driver cost, which are deal in another legal software. The maintenance bill, which uh, represents only 10% as we saw earlier, and which can be easily assigned. We just show in the, the, the speech that we can uh, assign trucks directly uh, in the accounting. And then we have our fuel cost consumption, with the external fuel, uh, which are uh, valued with the, at uh, purchase price, and the internal fuels, which are valued based on the FIFO basis. So let's complete the process again. We have a link with the vendor bill in accounting, and the stock movement also arrives in accounting. With this pile of data, then we can have uh, really quickly uh, profit and loss per truck, and uh, other report managers like for example, uh, average consumption per truck and so on. As all data are inside, we can do what, whatever we want. So the choice. Yes, so let's net now get to the best part, which is the demo. So in Odoo, we have here the fleet module. So. The fleet module where we see our uh, our license plate, which are uh, registered in the fleet, and we have also all the fuel logs. So that's uh, the info we receive from external provider and from our tank. So what uh, what can we find in, in these fuel logs? We have. Uh, the product, of course, they are diesel, but we can uh, sort about uh, add blue or some other products for f fuel. The date, the vendor, so where we uh, buy the, the fuel, then the exact address of the station. We have the quantity taken by the truck, the price, which are sent by, sent by the provider. We already received the invoice number, which is uh, really important. Uh, we'll show you later why. And then the value of the kilometer index and it also automatically compute the travel kilometer since the last fuel lock for that product for that truck. We also have uh, information about the driver and the vehicle and so on. J'ai perdu mon post-it. <laughs> now let's get uh, to the inventory uh, uh, Two uh, modules, sorry. So we can have our uh, location. So we see our tanks and we see the on hand quantity. So based on uh, the purchase module, everything is valued. So we see that uh, we replenish for about 40,000 uh, liters. And if we click on that, we can see 
the value of that replenishment, which is 50,000 uh, euro. And the same for uh, uh, stock removal. So here I have validated one of our internal stock movement. And uh, we can also see the value of this. So it's valued on a FIFO basis, as I said. As you are raising out of time, can you show us the dashboard, maybe, which is yes. the finality? Um, so we bought some uh, dashboards for uh, checking the file. So that's uh, you, the basic spreadsheet uh, in Odoo. And then uh, once or every uh, few logs are linked with accounting, but uh, let's see if we have time. We can have the report, uh, the profit and loss per uh, truck. So here is, uh, there is my truck example. We have the customer invoice, which are already integrated into the system. So for 30,000 euro. And then we have vendor bills for about uh, seven euro and then 7,000, sorry. And then we have the profit and loss statement, which can also be uh, seen on this view. And we can group them by product. So we know exactly the fuel cost of each of our truck. So thank you, Manon. I don't know if you have any questions. I Okay, so you have questions. Uh, we'll be uh, at the back uh, of the room and uh, feel free to come. And uh, especially if you are in the uh, transport business, we'll be happy to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much.